Hi all, Spring Flower here and welcome back to Factory 44 where you never know what you're gonna find but you know it'll be good. <laughs> Hi guys, I just decided to get up this morning and do a video right here in my room. At first I was gonna be like, um, get everything, take it downstairs. But I don't feel like doing all of that. So, of course, you know, I'm on a luck journey. Um, I'm just a few days in. Today is the 27th. I started the first, the 21st. It's been like a week, just about a week. And it's getting roughed up. I love it. I love it. I love it. I just love it. I love the way it's going. I'm enjoying the look. <laughs> it's really cool right now. So I'm digging it. You know, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's drain this up. So yeah, I just wanted to come on today and I wanted to share my bed collection because we're not going anywhere right now and I don't know when I'm going to be able to wear these bags again. So I decided that today I'll share my bed collection and yes, I did put on some earrings, put on my necklace, put on some cute earrings. I love these earrings because they make noise and I love earrings that make noise. <laughs> I know it probably would drive some people crazy but for me. I love a dangly, jangly kind of noisy earring. That's the gypsy in me coming out. <laughs> and the more you get to know me, the more you'll see that I'm a hippie. I'm a free-spirited person. In a good way, I, I, I have limits. I have limits, so I'm not limitless. And I just don't do just any and everything. But I do have a lot of fun with my life. And I am here to share it with you. So, let's get into these bags. So, the first bag I want to show you, I've been collecting, I am, let me just give a little backstory. Um, Factory 44 is the name of my vintage slash thrift shop that I own. Um, I open it, I close it, it's online, sometimes I run it, sometimes I don't. This year I was actually planning to do some pop-up shops, you know, because I still have a lot of merch. So I was planning to do some pop-up shops and stuff, but of course... In comes pandemic, in comes quarantine, in comes that runner, you know, so changed up the game just a little bit. So I decided um, that I still have plans to do pop-up shops, shops and stuff. So, yeah, that's where the name Factory 44 comes from. And um, I came up with that name because I've always ran businesses and I've always ran businesses right out of my home. And the number on my home was 44, so I called it a factory because we was always doing stuff out of this home. Like, you know, we've been here for over 20 years and we've done so many businesses and different things out of this home. So it became a factory to me. You know, we was always producing something. So, yeah, so I just kept the name Factory 44. I just think it's a cool name. It's well-rounded. It works with my life, you know. So, yeah. So, back to my bag share. That's just a little bit of Factory 44. And it just goes along with even my channel now because the tag for that, again, is where you never know what you're going to find, but you know it'll be good. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find in this channel because I don't know. I don't have no... It's not going to be just one thing, you know. It's going to be a bunch of stuff. So, my bag journey. Some bags um, I've been collecting. I'm a collector, so I collect bags. I collect jewelry. I collect bracelets. So I'll share those things with you. Bracelets is some of my absolute favorite accessories for as long as I can remember. It's been bracelets and earrings. Can't go a place without earrings, but I love bangles. I have like tons of bangles. One day I'll share my bangle collection, but I I collect them and I have like, let's just say I have a lot. <laughs> I have like a lot. But up here in my room is a few bags. I have, I have a lot of bags as well, but... Up here on my shelf right here is just a few that I really love. And I just keep them here tuck, chucked on my shelf because I like looking over at them and looking at the sparkle. So this first bag I'm going to show you is actually one that I had made because I'm a crafter. So this is one that I made and it's made out of denim and it's made out of different materials and different broken vintage jewelry. See? Out of jewelry and just sparkles and different patches of material and it's got some some um some fur and an elephant right there i love this bag and the strap is a necktie so when i first made the bag and has like um ribbons when i first made the bag i made it to sell it in my store but i loved it so much i decided that i would keep it for myself and that's what i did so you need to open it up and it's just a simple bag. It's got a flap. Something's in there. What's in there? Oh, one of my other little parcels is in there. <laughs> but yeah, and it has like a little pocket. I kept a front pocket. And it's just a cool bag. And it's a back pocket. So it's made out of a pair of old jeans. 
and I shredded the bottoms. I love this bag. It's just so happy. It's so boohoo. And I love how I came up with it. It's just, you know, me being me. Chucking some things I had together and created this part. So this is actually a favorite bag of mine. And then I have this one. I like this one a lot because it's like a little clutch, of course. And I like it because it's like got like a snake skin on it or something. And it's really, you know, thin. I could put it inside of another bag if I wanted to. It's just a nice little cute bag. I like the color of it. The color could kind of go with anything. So it's a go-to bag for me. And that's why it's out. My little clutch. And then I have this other really cute little clutch. Anything that has a lot of like um, beading and stuff like that. I love. And it's like a pinky peachy type of color. Like rose pink. Dusty rose. And um... It still got the tag on it. I remember I found this in a thrift store. It's still, I didn't realize it still had the tag on it. Let's see how much this bag what cost. I knew I paid nothing, probably about $10 for it. Um, it says $17.99 17 euros. So whatever that is in dollars. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a cute little bag. It has the little chain to put it over your shoulder. And I have carried this bag before. I'm, I just never took note that the tag was still in there because I carried it as like a little clutch, a little cross bag to hold like that. So, yeah. It's another cute bag that I love. Um, mm, I love this one. This one right here is so cute. I carry this bag quite often when I'm going out somewhere because I like it. I like that it's a box. I love that it's like lined school paper and it says, all I need is love and Wi-Fi and has love hearts and jewels and all sorts of stuff and has a shoulder strap and in the back it has cream and it's like it's written in pan. I love this bag. It's so cute and it's got like the lock closure. Looks like a lock with a flower. It's just a funky little bag. Like it's just a funky little bag. And I have a receipt in here and a ticket. Hmm. What ticket is this? This is a ticket from... Um... Boxing match. Fight night. Fight night one night that I went to. Funny boxing match. How cool is that? Yeah, so it's just got a little junk in there. <laughs> so yeah, I love this bag. It's super cute. Super cute. <laughs> just made the thumbnail just now, I think. <laughs> I think that will be the thumbnail. Um, what else? Ooh. Ooh, this is another favorite. I've had this one for some time. Remember when magazine bags was like all the rage and this is a cute clutch. And it's got Marilyn Monroe on it. So that's Marilyn's face. And it's just like it's a filled, like how you filled up a magazine and hold it in your hand. So I really love that. Open it up. They don't hold much, but I'm liking how I'm finding stuff. Bracelets. Yeah. So I don't know, some take for bracelets. Because like I said, I like to collect bracelets. And this is the um, chain to put across your shoulder. I think I don't think I've ever carried it across my shoulder. I think I've always carried it like um in my hand as a clutch. And it's just cute. It's like magazine cover. It's just cute. Special edition, Marilyn Monroe. And I am a Marilyn Monroe fan. I do love Marilyn. Um, I have a lot of her merch. R.I.P. Marilyn. I have a lot of things. I have like new journals and I even have the Marilyn Monroe book and she's definitely a fashion icon. She was, you know, so sad what happened to her. And then I have this bag right here. I found this at a thrift store and it's like a belt bag. Like you could attach a belt to it and I have worn it like that. Like I put it on my belt and just wore it and um, it's just so boho. It's got the buttons up there. And it zips and it also with the snaps so it opens up like this and it's got the pockets and it's just so cool and it's got an inside there I just have a piece of cardboard in there here in its shape but it's just a little materialized bag material bag very simple easy to wear it's got zippers in the back so yep yeah, this is a cool one it's a cool little funky bag you want to wear something and look a little different very boohoo looking. I don't know who made it. Let's see. It has some type of brand on there. But I don't have my glasses. So I can't really see. But it's cute though, right? It's super cute, this one. 
And let's see what else. Ooh, like I said before, I love beaded bags. So anything with beads. So this is another beaded bag. Right there. And it's just cute. And it has like a short strap to it. I've carried this to weddings and everywhere parties. Yep, so this is another cute little bag. I'm trying to make thumbnails, guys. <laughs> so yeah, this is really pretty. It's aqua. It's got pink beading on it. It's just a beaded bag. It's just easy. You know, you can have on a simple black dress like this. Chuck a beaded bag with it. Outfit. That's the nice thing about these bags. They're such a cool accessory. Back here is my... This one might be a little dusty, but it's my, like, little briefcase bag. Good for if you got meetings and stuff and you need to carry it. I'm just wiping it off because we've been sitting here collecting dust. So... This is my little briefcase business bag, I call it, when I'm trying to be all businessy and, and, and like, you know, all that type of stuff. And has, like, the little front pocket for looks and different compartments on the inside. I like that it had, like, the different compartments like that and another compartment like that. So, yeah, when I feel like I want to be, you know, a boss. I like to carry this bag, clean it all up, dust it all off, and it's really super cute. So that goes back there. Um, have this cute little number. Oops, lost the earring. Let's put it back on real quick. Can't afford to be lo losing earrings. I wear clip-ons a lot, guys, because um, I have it pierced ears, but be over the years, you know, I'm 40-something years old, I was a party girl and everything, and while the, it's not completely torn, it's, bad, it's, it's torn quite a bit, so it's, I don't really put, you know, hooks in my ears anymore like that, because I wouldn't want it to completely rip, and if I have my way in the future, I will fix my ear lips and just fix those holes and make them tight again, because you could do that nowadays, so, you know, that would be something that I would want to do, but anyway, back to the process, look at this cute bag. Look at it. Isn't that adorable? Look at it. And it's that tweed material, black and white. It's just the most. I found this bag while I was in China. And, you know, we were shopping and stuff. And this is something that I found in China. And it's, like, really super cute. It has a really nice, um, it has a really nice chain. And I bought a few bags. And some of them I sold for my shop. But this is one that I kept for myself because I had to keep one for myself. I wish I would have bought more, but I said, I can't keep them all. So this is one that I kept and I just love that it's got these long, um, it just makes me think of like Cher from Clueless, Cher and Dion. I feel like they would carry a bag like this. <laughs> I love Clueless. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> I love that movie. I love it. But yeah, this bag made me think of something that Cher or Dion from Clueless would wear. If you guys knew that, maybe I'll stick a picture somewhere if I find one. <laughs> um, of course, anything with sparkles. This is just an ill vintage ill style, double-sided clutch purse. Something you would have found in your granny's closet or your, you know, back in the day. So this is cute. Very simple. It's like a um, it's like a gold, gold kind of color, platinum gold, something like that. And it's just perfect for like if you just need to snatch up a quick pass, put it with your dress, and roll. What else I have her? Ooh, I love this one right here. Now this bag right here, let me wipe the dust off. This bag, I got this bag. I'm wiping it off with my dress. Yes, I am, people, because I do stuff like that. Like I'm not getting anywhere. I'm wiping it off with my dress taking the dust off now this is a cool bag because first of all it's, it's apparent rare but it's orange orange and gold i love it it's got like that clear um clasp right and oh man how you open it sometimes i can't remember how to open it there we go oh i took the chain off but it came with a gold chain because i usually just carry it in my hand but it's just a little opening like that um this bag was selling at one of my local, um, one of my local fashion stores, and it was very expensive. But it was on a, in a sale box, and it went all the way down to like twenty dollars. But it was real expensive. It was like over hundred dollars when I first saw the bag, and it probably was overpriced to begin with. But I loved it. I was glad to be able to get it, and it's just a cute, awesome little clutch. It's just, it's just awesome. It really is. <laughs> it's a cute, awesome little clutch. 
<laughs> thumbnails. What else I have here, guys? Mm. Now, this one right here, this is just another little cute bag that I, I found at the thrift store. So let me show it to you first before I open it. So I found this bag at the thrift store. And it's, as you can see, it has patches on it. I actually put those patches on there myself because I like to revamp things, as I already said. You know, I like to re take stuff, revamp it, make it look different. So a couple of the patches I had on there came off. But I, you know, want to put more jewels and patches on it. But it's got lemonade squad patch. It's got a unicorn. It says girls. And it's got, like, some kind of ribbon there. Just whatever I had at my fingertips at the time. And, um, yeah, it's just a little box bag. It's just a little box bag. That's it. Just a little, and it's just cute. It's just a cute little box bag. And this is another thing that I have put together to sell in my shop. And I was like, nah, I'm keeping it. I want it. Because <laughs> I like little small cute bags. So I cap it. What else I have her? Ooh, I have this love heart bag. Again, how can you go wrong? It has dangling rhinestones on it. It's shaped like a love heart. And it's just super cute it's silver with a little gold in there you can put your fingers in and just carry it and i it does have a hand strap and it also does have the um the chain strap if you want to put it over your shoulders but you can carry it like that if you want to it's just super cute guys and it had to be in my collection it just had to be <laughs> Look at all that dangle. Could you imagine when the sunlight's like sparkling off of this? How cool it would be. <laughs> so, yep, that one. And then I also have another big sparkly bag. Now, one of my friends has a shop. And I saw this sparkly bag hanging in her store. And it like it has a dress on. It's like a sparkling disco ball with a dress. How was it possible for me to leave this in her shop? I'm like, I want that bag. I need it in my life. And it's a little, you know... You know, <laughs> I can't get wrong with this bag, you guys. <laughs> yes, there is a bottle of wine behind me with my wine glass. And how I wish it was some wine in it right now. But alas, I drank it all. So, no more wine. But look at that bag. Ooh, this might have to be my profile picture because it's silver. And I have silver jewelry on. And what else? Okay, look, this is really cute. I love this one because, first of all, it's a cube. How can you not love this cube? And it has writing on it. It says, yeah, baby. It has the clear... I'm trying to remember the name of... I can't believe I can't think of the name of what you call these clear... This clear beads and jewelry and stuff. I can't... I don't know why for the life of me it's left my hair. But when it comes to me... I will say it or I might Google it because it's driving me nuts that I can't remember what you call this stuff. Um, rooster. Rooster's a nut, straight up. But yeah, it's cute. It says, yeah, baby. It's got rhinestones all over it, guys. Look, it's got lips. It's just adorable. It's silver with red writing, rhinestones, this clear beaded handle. It's got all the elements of everything that's important. I haven't had a chance to wear this big. Oh, yeah, it still has this little um, duster. And it comes with a, also comes with a silver chain. I could attach if I want to wear it long. And it also came with extra rhinestones. How cool is that? And it's just a, a little box. So these bags are just really for partners. You want to add a little jump to your outfit. These bags would do it. <laughs> How cute is it? Ooh, this could be my... <laughs> I'm thinking about all these different things I could do for my for my um my thumbnail. Oh, and now we're coming down to last but not least. Look at this bag, guys. And this is the reason why I collect bags because this bag shaped like a whole house. Like, come on. Like, it was impossible for me to leave this in the shop. Like, the bag is shaped like a whole little cottage. And the minute I saw it, I had to have it. Is in a rose is in a rosy dusty pink and white and it's got a lot of room on the inside it has a strap it's roomy on the inside it could fit my whole iPhone and everything and whatever else I need it's just the cutest in the world and I had to have it and I can't wait I'm worried out a few times and I can't wait to wear it out again 
I can't wait to wear it on again one day. It's just so lit. <laughs> Big collection. <laughs> And I don't know if this is my favorite or not, guys, but it's definitely one of them. Look at this bag. It's a whole vintage style telephone, guys. Look at it. It's red. It's got the rotary dial. It's just so important to my bag collection, this one right here. And it's also pretty roomy for open it up. It has a mirror. And it has space. <laughs> I love this bag. Ooh, my ballerine. If I drop this 30 pounds, I will repair my belly button. I will. But until then, it stays closed. <laughs> but yeah, guys, isn't that adorable? Isn't that the cutest? This might have to be my thumbnail. But yeah, guys, so these are a few of my favorite bags that I wanted to share with you. Um, oh, I can't believe I forgot a bag. Okay, wait. Let's move my makeup. I can't believe I forgot this bag, guys. And I've got another bag to show you too. My bag collection not even yet. Over yet. Look at this bag. Why it's a whole, like, grocery basket. It's a whole grocery basket, guys. Look at it. Uh, it's a whole grocery basket and has like, I don't know what that is, like a deer or something on the front. But it's a whole grocery basket. And it's got like three zip, three, four zippers at the top. That's how you open it to get into it. And then it also has, um, right word to I see something. What's on her? Well, something from a night when I ran out orange, orange bracelet thingy. But it has the um little chain if I want to wear it you know, on my shoulder, but this is definitely one you want to carry in your hands. Like, it is so adorable. I can't believe I almost forgot it, guys. I almost forgot it. Very important to my collection. Very important. And this is why I collect bags, because I like cute stuff. Like, I like anything that looks different, that's got novelty to it. Um, Literally got this because it's iridescent. I like seriously it's an iridescent little pouch and i've carried this before as a purse i also put it inside of bags before um i have a clear bag around it somewhere but it's a big one it's in my closet so i'm not gonna bother pulling it out but this is another bag that i love and before i go i have another bag I want to okay see. i am back so look at this bag guys look at this cute bag uh, Look at it. It's a backpack. It's not a big one, but a really cute kind of small one. It's got the backpack straps on it. You could also move the straps around to um, make it like a shoulder bag if you like. And it's just cute. Got the front flap. I put this red girl in green puff ball on because it matches. And I also have slippers that match this puff ball. So you knew I'd be coming out in a style and a fashion when I rock this one. But it's super cute. And I wanted to show you guys. Isn't that adorable? Cutest little backpack. And I believe this is like, you know, it's got that, it's got that somewhat Gucci kind of look to it, you know, with the, with that, um, with that ribbon right there. And I think, let me see, let me see what I have in this drawer. Let me see what's in this drawer. Okay. Yeah, more cute clutches and I want to show them to you. Um, there's one in particular. I'm trying to see if I have one of my handmade clutches up here. This is another... Oh, not handmade, but it is a good clutch, and I want to show it to you guys. If I can get it out of the drawer. I don't know if I can get it out. But it's Marilyn again. I've carried this many places as well. It's just a cute little purse. I just want to chuck something in it. Got the little... And the shoulder strap, but I did never wore it as the shoulder strap. I wore it like this. So That's cute, right? Just a simple little bag. Um, what else, what else? Okay, nothing else in this particular drawer that I want to share. A lot of junk, that it, nothing I want to share. Ooh, wait a minute, it is one thing I want to share. Anything with beads on it is important to my life. Look at that, guys, look at that, look at that. 
Look at that. Now, where this bed came from? This bed came from somewhere. I can't read the name of it, but it's super cute, guys. Look at it. Look at it. It's just super cute. It's like one. I think it's. Made, it seems like it's made by them true religion people. I don't know. Let me look on the inside. No, it just says something New York. But I don't know. It has that true religion kind of print on it with the burr and everything. But anyway, it's really cool, and I like it. And I have carried it. It's a nice bag to carry in the summertime. Go brunch. It's got the jeweled handles, and you can put it on your wrist like that, like a wristlet. And um, yeah, it's just cute. So that's a real nice bag that I really like but in my collection. And let me see what else. I'm just getting in my drawers, thinking of stuff. This is another one that I love. It's another one that I love. <laughs> and what else is one that I love? Ooh, I'm not usually a brand brand girl like this, but I saw this one and I really loved it. This Louis Vuitton girl. No, it's not real or nothing like that. I don't even know if Louis Vuitton has a whole girl, you know, clutchy bag like this. I'm not even sure, but I saw it. I loved it and I got it. I will show you the inside, but it's got a lot of paper in there. But it's got these two pockets. And it's just super cute. I wonder if it's any money. Oh, this paper and receipts, but does it have any money? I want money. Money, money, money. <gasps> money, money. It's got stickers. I don't know why it's, but it's got stickers. Rainbow stickers. <laughs> I'm a journaler, so I don't know why I have these stickers, but I probably picked them up one day. But... It's got stickers and stuff. But anywho, anywho, I think that's going to be it for the bags that I want to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you stayed with me this long, because this is a long video, over 20 minutes long, almost 30 minutes long. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to share my bag collection with you today. Just something different because it's not always just going to be locks. But thank you for joining me. Thank you for visiting my channel. And thank you for coming to Factory 44, where you never know what you're going to find, but you know it's going to be good. Okay, bye-bye.